Good morning, everyone. This is Ty Creek Rock back on the Ark. We're still here on Crystal Isles, and we're going to be doing another episode of Who Has the Best Dinos in All of Ark. Today's episode, as you can see in front of me, is going to be for the Tech Parasaur. And I'm sure most people are thinking, why you bother trying to get a really good Tech Parasaur? Because most people don't use Parasaurs very much, but they're really good early game mounts. If you get a high level parasaur early game and a good saddle on it it'll save your life a lot of times it sure saved mine and they've got a lot of cool features if you riding a parasaur around they can fend off small carnivores like dillos and small or low level raptors i've even fought off a low level carno before on a good parasaur but anyway they've also got a thing like it's like a fear roar where they can scare off small carnivores and they've also got a radar thing where you can ping their radar and they can detect detect carnivores out of your sight. So you can see if there's anything dangerous in the area before you go into it. So early game, a parasaur is a great, great tame. And I'm on the Crystal Isles map and I got pretty lucky on this map. And I found a couple of pretty good tech parasaurs early game. So I've been breeding tech parasaurs for a long time. And I've come up with a pretty good one here. And I guess if you're going to breed up a really good dinosaur, you want to go out and tame as many high levels as you can. And tech creatures, they've got a special thing where they get an extra 20% on their levels. So if you've got your got your game set to, to maximum difficulty and you get level 150 normal creatures, you can get a level 180 tech creature. So you can get level 180 tech parasaurs, tech raptors, Tech T-Rexes and even Tech Quetzals all come in level 180s if you can find level 180s. I did tame a bunch of level 180 Tech Parasaurs. And anyway, if you're going to max you out a one like this right here, this is my best one. It's a level 318 with no, no levels put on it, no imprints and no mutations. So that's my best base level Tech Parasaur is a 318. But if you're going to build you a max level dinosaur first thing you want to do is go out and tame all the high levels you can find and on tech parasaurs high level is usually anything above 156 so these like normal dinosaurs get their levels in increments of fives like a like a 150 tech t-rex you can get like 135s 140s 145s 150s they all come in increments of five, but tech parasaurs come in increments of six. So you can go out and find like level 156s, 162s, 168s, 174s, and 180s. You want to tame all of those guys over 156. And anyway, once you tame them, you get extra points to, depending on how high or how well you tamed it. If you get a perfect tame on a 180 tech tech creature you get a level 269 I think this first one here is a 269 so this was a perfect tame 180 right here and this one had my best health it had 2040 let me see 2040.3 health and what's strange about that is I actually got two of that exact same health I got another one here it's only a 251 and it's also got 2,040.3 health. So a 251, let me see. It probably was a, I don't know, it might have been a 150, 156 and I just didn't tame it properly and lost some levels on it. But it, it obviously was not a 180, but a 251, I said two, everything above 256. So it probably was a two, a two fifty or a one fifty six. I mean, it was probably a one fifty six when I tamed it, and it got the exact same health as this one did. So I've actually got two with the exact same best health, which was twenty thousand forty point three health, and then my best stamina one is another two sixty nine. So this was also a one eighty originally, and got a perfect tame on it. It's a two sixty nine. It came out with two thousand six hundred and ten stamina. That was the best stamina tech parasaur I could find and then this was my best oxygen one it's also a 269 so there's another 180 that I tamed and got a perfect tame on this one had my best stamina 
or my best oxygen is what this one had. This had 870 oxygen. I think it also had my best oxygen and hell oxygen and 8k food I think I think this one actually had two of my best stats it had the best oxygen and the best food stat that 870 oxygen and 8550 food so this one had two of my best stats on it this 269 male here this 180 male and then my best weight one was right here I got a 242 female 242 that must have been a lot lower level than than a 156 this must have been about a 152 or something I don't know it was definitely lower though but it's only a level 242 after taming and it had my best weight stat it had 950.4 weight I haven't exactly figured out the level and on the tech creatures yet I do know the 269s were originally 180s so a 242 must have been a yeah I don't know if it's a two might have been a 156 I'll have to get out the math thing and figure that out later but anyway here's my best damage one it is a 260 so I'm assuming this one was a 174 originally like I said I don't can't do the math in my head real quick but a 174 female and it had the best melee damage of any of them I tamed it had 482.9 percent melee damage I think once I bred that into my my main one over here it came out for 493 I think 483 I, 482.9 I think it turned into 483 once I bred it into my main parasaur but anyway if you tame a level 180 and it comes out 269 that means you get an extra 89 levels to go into random stats so taming a 180 will give you a lot of extra points in your levels so you're basically starting out with a 269 right off the bat if you tame a tech creature so if you can tame anything tech it's good to do it's just that tech creatures are much harder to find than regular creatures and in fact I've been trying to tame up some tech T-Rexes and I have only found like five or six of them and they're all low levels except for one so finding tech T-Rexes is a pain in the butt and I've only seen one tech Quetzal on this map and I went back to try to tame it and it had vanished so tech Quetzals are even worse but anyway I had pretty good luck on the tech Parasaurs I probably tamed about a dozen 180 tech Parasaurs and after I combined all them stats together I got this guy right here it's a level 318 it has all the stats of all six of those parents right there or all five of them really I didn't really need but one of these health guys right here but anyway this one has all the stats of those together and it combined into one this is my best basic tech parasaur if I get into its inventory I'll show you all the stats really quick it's got uh, 2,040.3 health. It's got 2,610 stamina. It's got 870 oxygen. It's got 8,550 food. It's got 950.4 weight, and it's got 483% melee damage. So it did go from 482.9 on the original up to 483 on this one. So you do get some rounding on some of your some of your leveling points. But anyway, this is the best one I could breed out of the best ones I could find. And that's my best basic tech parasaur. And you can go above this. I have discussed this in my other videos. You can imprint on creatures, but I cannot imprint on parasaurs on this map because I have all my settings on default. And I am on a PlayStation 4. And on default, the parasaurs actually mature too fast to imprint on them. So these guys grow up fully before you can get an imprint. But if you were to slow your mature rate down a little bit, you could get an imprint on these guys and get an extra 20% on all your stats, except for oxygen and stamina. But that would be pretty cool if you wanted to mess with your settings and turn your mature rate down just a little bit. You wouldn't have to turn it down but just a tiny bit because they almost get to the point to be imprinted before they mature. But anyway, even after all that there, you can go into mutations also. But this video is not going to be about mutations. But I'm going to show you what happens if you get a mutation. This 318 will turn into a 
320 if you get a mutation. And you can see this guy's also got these purple legs, which was the color part of the mutation. And he got an extra two levels from being mutated. And those two levels went into health on this one. This guy's got 2,120.3 health. And he was originally, this level right here is originally 2,040.3 health. So the health went up. went up by about 80 points. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. 80 points went up on the health from one mutation. But if you really had a lot of time and wanted to, you can just keep stacking those mutations and get them up pretty high. But I just want to show you what happened if you got one and you sometimes you get really cool colors like these purple legs along with your stat mutation. But this video is basically just about the about your best basic tech parasaur that you can breed from just breeding alone no imprints no imprints no leveling and no mutations it's the best tech parasaur you can get and this is to lay claim to who has the best one and this is my claim right here I've got the 318 with all the stats I showed you before if anybody's got one with better stats on any stat please come on here and comment tell me what you got if you got one with better stats on everything you've probably got the best or you can lay claim to the best tech parasaur in all of Ark. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's put a little bit of time into tech parasaurs and probably got a better one than I do. But anyway, if you have got the best one, come on here and give me a comment and a like maybe and check out my other videos. I've got some more videos of the best, best dinos in Ark. But anyway, if you like this video, Give me a thumb up, thumbs up, a comment, and a share. And this is Ta Creek Rock and the best tech parasaur in all of Ark, signing out.